It's okay. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, what you see here is kind of um, not really the first H5P ever created, but um, one of the first H5P contents that was ever created. And the content type is called board game. And you probably have not ever heard of that, uh, which is kind of a shame. And we'll see that in a minute. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, so there is an old content type that was in development once. It was called board game. And... Um, yeah, it might be a little misleading because it's, well, not necessarily, but um, um, yeah, maybe we should have a look at it first. I know in German it would be the term that I, they, that I found on the, the net lately was called Lernlandkarte, where you would kind of learning map, where you can uh, you can think of that of, as, as of the map of Super Mario World, that old SNES or Super Famicom classic. Um yeah, so think of that car, uh, that map, and where you can have um, yeah dots or something, and you can click on them, and then a new level would open, kind of the same. So um, yeah, you can go to hrefi.org slash examples. That is where this is, this gem kind of is hidden, and you could have a look at that link um, because uh, it's posted there hrefi.org slash board game, but it is not, not publicly accessible. But there is this board game dot h5p file down there, and I installed that on my platform so I can show it to you. So um, this is my local WordPress instance, and that is how it looks. So um, here we have this uh, board game corner type, and you see game of animal organ systems, and I haven't explored it too much. Um, Actually, I've never had a real look at it, but I noticed there are some quirks. So it would, you see, it doesn't resize properly. So it stops here, although the, the canvas is larger. But we, we can have a look at it together, kind of. So um, this is a starting screen. And if I click on continue, you'll see, okay, that goes down. And now I have this, it is a map here. And uh, you see there are a couple of, um, well, you could say icons or hotspots, maybe. And in contrast to image hotspots, uh, where just content would open when you have images, videos, or text, here you can have a couple of content types at least. So, for example, if I click on the bear, let's say this is my starting level, the forest, um, then uh, you see it says start quiz, and if I click on that, you'll see, okay, this is obviously um, a question set with some custom styling here, so the button is square, not round, and um, I could just... just click something randomly, um, which is wrong, but uh, why not? So let's just click on something. So you see, it is just regular question set up to now. So now you can have some, um, and well, this is also question set, but you have an animation that plays, and I can skip that if I want to. And then I get my result, and I can continue. And uh, well, you see, okay, this is marked now, so I've completed the level kind of, and I see I get, okay, zero points out of two possible, and I, I could go to the next level. And well, basically that is it kind of, some fancy animation in here, which is custom. Um, yeah, but that is board game. And what I have not done, I have not l looked at the editor yet. Uh, because I know it's a form-based editor, so there's no graphical editor. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at it together. So that might be it. Might be fun. So, um, obviously, we can upload the background image. Okay, that was... Uh, sir, uh, yeah, we're sure about that. Uh, and we have to specify a size, so it's obviously not responsible. Okay, drop shadow, just some fancy visual stuff. I guess that is the starting screen. Yes, it is. So, you can have that. And... Okay, so you upload images here. How do you relate those to the content? Ah, now I see. That is kind of... No, what is it? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, I oh, I, I know, I see. Okay, so you can um, upload three kinds of, of hotspots. So this one is not done and successfully completed and obviously failed. That's why mine was red. And then, okay, you have to set it here. You don't have the uh, the image, the, the coordinate selector yet that you have in, in hotspots, for example. So you have to define the position exactly. And then, okay, then you have the question set, and that is it. Okay, some other styling here. So there is an editor widget running. Yeah, and then those are the, the hotspots. 
Anything else? Behavioral settings? The most interesting part, of course, is always the behavioral settings. Oh, hi, James. Yeah, board game. Yeah, it is kind of cool, but little. Yeah, it looks a little wonky. Or works a little wonky. Uh, okay, so we have a progress indicator. Oh, I haven't seen that. But that looks good. Especially given the, the contacts. So, okay, maybe you find that. Um, then we just skip. Um, okay, that is... Okay, that is a custom video. Okay, that's kind of the end screen. And then settings. Okay, the usual settings to overwrite the retry button and just listen to that. Okay. Yeah, so um, uh, if you want to use it, uh, you can go to uh, that site, WordPress, or uh, h5v.org slash examples. Kind of strange. But there you can download the boardgame.h5v file. And if you install that, or if you upload that, not install, if you upload that uh, on your platform, then of course, you know, then you can create board games. 